dirty money's in the house. How you doing, how ladies? Doing? Hey, Master Michael over there, so how y'all doing? Oh, we good, we good, we good. Now, when y'all from DC, right? I, I live in Baltimore. Oh, you right Baltimore time. girl. Mm -hmm. okay. But um, I have family uh, in PG County. Oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. cool. So you home? I'm home, home. Oh, that's I a good better than me, so hey, what up? Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> huh? Good, how you doing? How y'all hook up with, 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 with this? Man, I I actually was uh, writing, Tell you know. Name. Uh -huh. My name is Kalina. Hi, Kalina. So y'all know. All right. All right. Yeah, but um, I was actually writing on a project, and um, man, me and Puff, we just kind of hit it off. It yeah. I've I written a lot of stuff and sent it to Puff. I never got no, no, he didn't give me a response. <laughs> no. Never. Let me back to be in videos. You have to write like 77 <laughs> songs. Did he, you can Did he told 70. his people, send him a t-shirt, he'll yeah. be fine. Oh, yes. <laughs> and you were, <laughs> right? We were happy. <laughs> Did he say that ain't funny? Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, but no, actually, man, this record is hot. Thank you. I, I, I like this. This is like gonna put you over the top, man. So, uh, was it difficult working with with, with them, uh, Daddy? Or uh, you? no, no. <laughs> we, we weren't asking you. We were asking, is it difficult to work with No, I asked him. No, I asked him. <laughs> I, yeah, I know it's difficult to work with me, but no, they're, they're a pleasure to work with. You know, yeah. and they're definitely a blessing from God. They're two of the most talented vocalists I've ever worked with, and I've worked with everybody. Yeah. Um, people have yet to hear or see it, their vocal potential, but they'll be able to hear it as they hear more of the album. And they're two of the best songwriters in the game, and then most importantly, two of the nicest people. Yeah. Like I know, and that's the cool. thing that has us really tight. You're never content, are you? You're not content with a certain. Okay, we're just gonna make 20 million this year. You know, it's it's more important than that. To you, yeah, I mean, I never. The biggest thing, contrary to beliefs, I never did it for money. I never gauged it on money. Mm -hmm. I always gauged it on the reaction of the crowd and how I was able to like impact lives and impact mm -hmm. the culture. So. Yeah, you know, I'm never content. I feel like we can always take it higher. You know? Yeah, you're on Home Shopping Network, and that's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you know if we were gonna go ahead and do that, we were gonna make sure that we sold everything out. Fifteen minutes. Did they, they have to cancel? Yeah, was yeah. that true? They had to cancel the next show because you like had nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, we had to cancel the next show because um yeah we had just sold out all this stuff so quick. And it's just a testament to like really like um the power of the brand. A lot of people in middle America or different parts of the country, they hear about it and they, in the news or they hear about it like in the different magazines. And they really have access to it and do it. But the world we live in, living in the metropolitan, we have access to that. Some people in St. Mary, they can't really you know, get a lot of the things that they get there. We take the brand. overseas. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of huge overseas. I'm not, I'm not saying that, I, I, I mean, and I want to make sure I, I explain the way, reason why I'm saying that. Mm -hmm. And that, that's because, like, I put the work in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I wasn't afraid to get my passport stamped. Mm -hmm. I, I saw an opportunity that, you know, everybody for some reason is afraid to go and take that trip over the water mm -hmm. and be out there comfort zone. And so I was like, well, I want to be the only cat over there. Yeah. So I was like the, like the first cat really, you know, that was on, on the hip hop side that was that was an international rap artist. Right. That had like a number one record in every single country. Well, I have kind of patterned my business model after yours. Mm -hmm. And obviously I'm still here in radio. <laughs> uh, You're not in Zimbabwe yet. No, not yet. <laughs> But you have to get you there, man. Yeah, man, you got you got to help a brother out, man, because I, I got to tell you, man, it is it is kind of it's kind of rough out there with the economy being the way that it is, and then you find dirty money. You always reinvent yourself, and you know I love the fact you got you got Biggie sampling on there, man. It's like, man, I, there's got to be all kind of tracks that you got where you can just pop, man, somewhere. Yeah, I mean, I mean to be honest, um, I don't have a lot of Biggie stuff. That that was something that I j just um, from a production standpoint. Mm -hmm. I, um, I, I always was saying that verse in my head based on the, what he was saying in the song. Right. Based on what he was saying in the song, um, you know what I'm saying? You know, killed him, filled him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? With the Lugas from the Rugas from the desert. Um, dying ain't it, but it's pleasant, kind of quiet. Watch my people bring the riot. And I'm really talking about what he would be saying to yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? Based on, you know, him being one of my I, angels. I love Notorious, the movie. I, you know, it's playing on cable quite a bit now. and. You know how you, you've seen it a million times, but you still want to watch it because you get captured by it, man. I, I just thought it was a really good, really well done movie. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. And that, that, that really has to go off to the mother being on the set every day. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, she, she really, really was, uh, really produced that movie to the fullest. She yeah. really put on her movie produ producer hat. Yeah. Wanted to make sure her son got seen in the right light as a human being. And I think that that movie really did it for him, did things for him that I couldn't do for him musically.